the big question, the big position, the one everybody wants to know about, Justin Fields, Russell Wilson. We're three days in, both of them. Saw plenty of action from both of them, I think. I, I would say a pretty even 50-50 split. You know, Russ has definitely taken those first team reps, but I think Justin's getting a fair share of shots here. Definitely fair share of shots. Your uh, your takeaway from from the quarterbacks? Yeah, um, kind of an up and down week from the both of them. I think yeah. you know Russ had a pretty good first day. Justin had a pretty down first day. Justin came back on the second day and I thought was a lot better. Russ maybe took a step back and then both were just kind of average on the third day. Um, I I think. Justin Fields is at a bit of a disadvantage in OTAs when you're just kind of playing in shorts, just because it, I mean, it's no secret that a lot of his value is in his legs and is in scrambling and is in making plays as an athlete um, yep. and running the football. And he just can't show that off here. But, you know, if you're looking at Justin Fields and you're trying to say, look, we need you to address some of these concerns that people have about you as a passer. I wouldn't say that he's done that so far. Um, I, I wouldn't say that he's kind of alleviated any concerns about the way he can throw the football. Um, like, I don't think even kind of the big arm stuff, like being able to chuck it real deep has shown up much either. Um, that's not to say if it won't, um, that's not to say that he can't get coached up and improve in certain ways, but it just hasn't shown up yet. Um, Wilson, I think has been fine. Um, I think he's gotten the football where it needs to go. I think, it still kind of looks like he's a brand new quarterback in a brand new offense with a bunch of new receivers and a new offensive coordinator and a new quarterbacks coach. I think that has all kind of showed up. Like I, I he, he, there are times where he makes some decisions where I'm like, Oh, I, I don't think that's I, it, where they don't look like smart decisions. Yes. And you kind of wonder, is that Russell Wilson? Is that just kind of being in a new environment like this for now? I'm willing to defer to it being kind of a, a new environment, new system, everything like that, but uh, not exactly a banner week for either of these quarterbacks. And it pers- if it persists, I'll start getting worried. But for right now, I'm I'm willing to chalk at least the the struggles with Wilson up to being in a new place, new system, all that stuff. Yeah, I think Russ has looked uh, like he, I don't know, unimpressive isn't the word, but just very bland, very bland, mm-hmm. like very like, eh, you know, there hasn't been that moment of like, oh, damn, that was good, you know, but and there's been a bunch of moments of like, Okay, that was a rough throw. You know, that was a bad decision. That was shouldn't have done that one, you know, or like, I don't know. But at Justin, at the same time, you, you've you had some like, I think the difference is Justin, you've had some throws where it's like, wow, that was a bad throw. Like that was, you know, balls wobbling all over the place. And you're just like, hmm, that was not good. That was not good. Russ hasn't had those. Um, but Justin at the other time, at the same time, has had like, you know, a couple of moments where it's like a play that you could kind of tell that if you were in pads, if this was game action, like he would have made something crazy happen. And you're like, oh, that was that's kind of cool. You know, that was a nice that was a nice play by Russ or by uh, Justin. And I think that's kind of I don't know. It's hard to give anybody an upper hand after week one. I don't think anybody actually has an upper hand after week one. But I think that Justin has excited me a little bit more than Russ. I would like to see more of. and, And that goes back to the wide receiver conversation. Like, you know, when George Pickens is here every single day and this is this is training camp and you're you're really practicing the offense and you're letting those throws deep and, you know, that kind of stuff. Are those explosive plays there? Because that's what both of these quarterbacks are known for. For right now, it's a lot of like crossing routes and and easy like dump offs and, you know, check downs and that kind of stuff. And you're like, all right, like that's this is boring, you know, and Russ isn't bringing that flash um, that that Justin just like naturally has every time he touches the ball. Um, and, and I think I agree with you. Like it's, it's nobody's been in, unimpressive. It's just more so like you're waiting for an opportunity for somebody to be impressive because right now nobody has. Right. And, and I think there's, there's, you got to remember that like safe is generally pretty good for this offense. Like, I, I don't yeah. know, like, I don't think you need, uh, I don't, not sure the Steelers need a star quarterback in order to be successful and win this year. No. That's the thing about the decision making that, again, if it persists, will worry me with Russ. Like, just make the right choice. Like, I don't, I don't need you to be Patrick Mahomes. I don't need you to be, you know, Justin Herbert or whoever the, uh, whoever the hell else is your favorite quarterback. I just need you to be solid. I need you to take care of the ball and, hit the open, you know, make the layups. Um, and so the, the fact that that hasn't totally been there just yet, 
is a little concerning, but yeah. uh, I'm not burying him yet. And I, I think I, I suspect it'll improve in week two and on and on and on. Yeah. Yeah. I think once we get to training camp and these guys are actually having an opportunity to just like take off and, you know, do some crazy things. That's when this competition will become like real, real. And you'll be able to be like, oh, OK, because I think right now, like, you know, Russ, Russ is the starter. And, you know, I walked in like I caught him talking to Arthur Smith in the locker room and I was like, ah, oh, that's starting quarterback right there. Like, you know, Justin Fields is sitting on the other side doing nothing. You know, there's this Arthur Smith's talking to the starting quarterback. But I think once you're able to showcase stuff, this becomes more real and real as time goes on.